here at 1407 I'm just gonna go over the stuff that's jumping out at me uh, we should mulch we want to spray some weed killer and put some mulch down in this bed uh, this this joint needs work you can see it from pretty far away these letters look uh, a little sloppy I'd rather have you remove them take them off with a screwdriver paint the whole thing nice and white and then paint the letters black and then screw them back on so it has nice edges. At least on the front, this uh, bead, this corner bead, I'd like you to mud that up just on the front side and sand it and then uh, paint it. Take, take these bricks as much, as much as you can and just line them up better so they're not just uh, loosely sitting. So take these, there's probably four or five bricks here and then just line them up here nicely. If you have landscaping adhesive or mortar or something. These, we either need to take them off and take the glass out and spray paint them, or we can just rip them off and put up new ones. Let's just rip them off and put up two new ones. This here, this, this uh, piece of metal that's bowing down, find a way to shove that up in there and if you need to screw it in place or something because it it kind of looks funny from the street and i think if we uh i think we should run a run a caulk bead between the this piece of wood and that this crack would be, look a lot better if it was caulked and smoothed with water especially around yeah we need to caulk that that joint here it just looks a little rough there's a piece of cast iron here, or that old fence post. Throw that in the pile out front if you could. All these bricks, put these in the pile out front if you could. And we're gonna wanna wipe this off. It's got all kinds of paint stains all over it. So if you could find a way to wipe that off. We need to get uh, a couple of feet, maybe four feet of uh, pipe insulation and re-insulate this guy. I will have this boat towed get this piece of metal uh, into the trash pile and this uh, paint stain, if you could scrape that up or do something with that. This outlet cover, which is to the left of the sliding door, uh, it needs to be screwed in better and maybe caulked. It's just falling out of the wall. So you'll have to find a way to screw that in better and uh, caulk it. The screen here has paint in it. I don't know if you can get the paint off of the screen. It looks like it comes off pretty easily. Or maybe it's drywall. That's the screen, that's to the left of the sliding door right here. There's all sorts of white specks on this thing. Uh, this is the right side of the house, if you're fa facing the house. This whole area needs uh, to be sanded. You're gonna have to bring some grinder or something and grind that back down. That sticks out from pretty far away. Actually, I think it would be quicker if we take some one by sixes, like in the front, and nail them up across this entire seam, just like in the front and run them below the window. That'll look super sharp. And it'll probably be quicker than sanding and redoing all this. So let's get like so I'm gonna get like 50, 60 feet of this two by, or this one by six. And we're just gonna continue this all the way around. So try to find a level and make sure they all match up. And just, just shoot them on with a trim nail gun. And that'll cover that whole seam and make it look a lot nicer. So we'll get 60 feet of that or so. And we'll wrap that all the way. You can just, well, we'll talk about it later, but we're gonna probably stop here, get that. Aiden, can you move? And then we're gonna get this little area here with the whiteboard and then get behind these things as much as you can. And so that'll cover that whole seam up. Wave, Aiden. That's Aiden, he says hi. Uh, there's just some trash here in the yard. And then this box, let's just paint this gray. It'll look better, kind of sticks out. So that's the exterior. Uh, this paint spill right here, because it's right in front of the garage, 
if you can scrub that or something put some al I think uh, I alcohol works really well for paint and spills get that off of there so the garage door opener is connected to that light bulb which is on this switch I think yeah this switch we need to remove and wire it closed or wire it on permanently so that that stays on permanently and then that light bulb is not working so we want to put a light bulb in there or just remove that light bulb we, we have one here and there's one on the opener itself so just remove that light bulb and then make this closed and then get a single switch plate mud that because we don't want that on a switch anymore Uh, put that attic door back where it belongs in the hole. Uh, I realized I need to get a washer and dryer in here from Aramis. Let's go ahead and get a uh, three and a half inch, 12 foot long baseboard. And we'll put a baseboard on there and then just roll this wall out. You don't have to go up into here, but just paint up to the, to the insulation on those pipes. And then uh, if you can make those look a little better, like put a clamp on them and uh, put, the, put the insulation back on there. And yeah, roll this out with whatever you got, eggshell. Just do this so it's a little better and then I'll put a washing and dryer and we'll put a baseboard here. When you do this, maybe shoot this in a little better just cause it's at eye level and, and caulk that as you paint it. It's again, only cause it's at eye level. The fridge, we need to get some stainless wipes. I have some at my house. I don't know if you have any. Uh, we gotta clean that. Uh, this is missing a knob. So we need another knob there. There's just trash and uh, dust and, and bugs on this kitchen windowsill. And the uh, we just wiped the faucet down. It's got water stains on it. Just buff that off if you would. This, we need to get some dark colored caulk and just really put it in there like maybe gray or dark uh, this joint looks a little rough and it's the kitchen so it's really important to do that right I don't know if we can do anything about this this one's a pretty rough cut <laughs> underneath here needs to be uh, fixed and underneath there, we need to, you can use baseboard or whatever you want. Maybe we'll just get two 12-foot pieces of baseboard and go there and there. This, uh, this paint edge here it looks white. I'd rather have you... Um, this should be gray. That's gray. This should be gray. And then... Yeah, so turn this gray. And then uh, the uh, paint this here. Paint it white. It got missed on the painting. And then same thing here, paint. This is currently white and this is gray, so let's make this gray. Uh, by the uh, sliding door to the left here in the kitchen, there's some scuff marks. Let's get those out of there. And we need to either change these switches or make them white. Maybe it's easier to change them, I don't know, but there's red on them right now. Uh, set all the clocks, please. Clock, clock. There's trash in the cupboards. Get that out of there. Vacuum up all this stuff. We're gonna have to glue that down or cut it and paint it or something. I think just, just run a knife here. I don't know, don't worry about that right now. But clean the cabinets out, there's dust in them. Yeah, just more crap in the cabinets. Get that out of there, please. There's just dirt here. So the cabinets need some cleaning. I'm gonna put the receipts in this drawer. We need to get a new toilet hose. This one's frayed. It's visible from when you walk in. Let's change that. This doorknob has a bunch of paint on it. So we need to clean it or change it. Maybe it's easier to change it. It's up to you. Get a new privacy knob. This switch should be white. It's, uh, it's not white. This is the front middle bedroom. This thing looks crooked. Move this over a couple notches. Just move it there so it's straight right now. This side is to the left. This is to the right. It just looks strange. That's pretty easy. This door needs another coat of paint. Just pull the knob off, paint it. There's a chip there and it's just kind of faded. 
So this should be semi-gloss. Uh, there's still trash here. There's like a plastic bag and some dead lizards and stuff like that. Uh, this this door needs a new coat again. You can see that it needs semi-gloss. Just pull the knob and paint it. Or it's up to you. If you can edge it really nice, then you don't have to pull the knob off. Um, in the front right bedroom, I'd like to have a support rod right in the center of this shelf because it's kind of weak. Let's do that. So I hope we have another support rod in the garage. The end of the, the closet at the end of the hallway, just this shelf at eye level, it's got this, it's kind of peeling up. If you could put some caulk in here and smooth it with water, that would look a lot nicer. In the, in the master bedroom, these, door, these rollers aren't hidden. So they need, this, this door needs to be adjusted. So this needs to get kicked out and that'll push that up. And then uh, this top area needs painting too. This sh these should be semi-gloss white, but uh, whatever you gotta match. And then there's a chunk missing here. So uh, some door touch-ups and adjustments here in the master. In the master, this grout needs work. If you can scrape that down and then get this chunks out of here. And then this needs caulk, it's got a crack. So I'd really have this kind of caulk all the way around. We, we need to be using white silicone. So white silicone the entire thing and bring mineral spirits to smooth it with. Also do this joint. Um, otherwise this looks pretty good. We need to get some shelves in here. We need like to cut uh, pieces of uh, plexiglass or maybe 3 8 inch wood or something. And we need to get some shelves in there. And then there's one in the other bathroom too. This light needs to be on center with the mirror, so pull that off and move it to the left so it's centered with the faucet. Move that. This towel bar is falling off the wall. It's barely hanging on, so fix that. And there's just more cleaning and dirt and stuff here. Touch up around that escutcheon. Pull, the, pull it off. It's a split, so you can pull it off and paint it behind it. It's got a seam in it, so you can split that and take it off and paint and put it back on. There's some uh, stuff in the sink here. Uh, a little bit more caulk here and here. Actually, if you could lo lower this about, uh, I don't know, lower it like six inches or so. It, it looks funny and it's not level. This one's too low and this one's too high. So it's got to be level and then uh, just drop it six inches. So fill that in. I hope we have an exact paint match. This doorknob has paint on it. Bring some alcohol, scrape that off. We want to take it off and clean it. Uh, there's a cut in the wall right here. Uh, where I'm in the master bedroom still. So it's right here. If you can swipe that and touch it up. And the air conditioning is not working at all. So I got to call Cody back out here again.